Hello, my name is Koray Tuber Kübür and I am the owner and founder of Holistic SEO and Digital. In this video, I will perform a quick SEO analysis with SEMrush for Performia.co and this video will be short and I aim to finish it under 5 minutes. So this analysis will be really, really quick, but we will try to focus on external references, the link character or the backlink opportunities, the anchor text or semantics and HTML errors and many, many more other things. So in this context, let's start. So usually whenever I check a website, the first thing that I want to see is actually what kind of a website is this? And I directly actually see it here. As you see, it is a React website. And when I see that it is a React website, as with a kind of reflex, I just check a website like this. I disable the JavaScript and I try to check what else actually changes here. So as you see, this web page actually has been statically uh, rendered and that's why we actually have everything here. So the other thing I want to just check quickly is that the internal links here, and as you see, most of the links are internal redirects and they are not valid links. And as I can see, they are not now following the, uh, the social media links and other, uh, there are other things, of course, we can talk about here, for instance, is learn more links to be honest i hate these type of links to learn more click here and read more details these don't include any kind this doesn't in include any kind of context or contextual information here so besides these there are of course very much more things that you can you can check here with a quick click you can check the html errors here quickly and you can fix them later but in my video actually i won't focus on the technical side too much but just i wanted to show you that if you want actually you can make everything really really quick even with a single click you can check everything for a website if you want to finish things under five minutes of course and i would suggest you to speak less than me <laughs> anyway so let's continue together and this is a quick analysis for just the backlinks and as you see we have high level of toxic domains here and in my opinion to be honest the SEM rush is is doing a great job for understanding which link is toxic or which link is not tox toxic. I am not saying that you that. Just take an export here and disavow every link that SEMrush says, but I am saying you that actually they have a realistic check for finding the toxic links because if you check these links, you will see that they will actually show you the reasons for that. For instance, here, as you see, there are 220 more backlinks just from this IP address and you can check them directly here as you want and most of the time you will see that these are probably probably fake subdomains for instance just here and just other day Google has published another uh, update just for the spam links so I would suggest you to check these type of things and create a disavow file because the several files will be evaluated by the Google eventually in batches and they will show their effects gradually. So still taking this effect in the future, it will be useful and you can check domain based or URL based. So just try to see it at the same time. And the other thing that you should check is, of course, the link character. In terms of the link character, we have text and image links. And in my opinion, the image links have more weight than the text link and if you use image link please include your anchor text in the alt text because it will be beneficial you can check the image internal links benefits uh, in your website directly and also i would suggest you to use the image backlinks as well in your external references so the other thing here is we have do follow and don't follow links here so I didn't check all of these things, but we know that the search engine uh, tries to not use the nofollow links for page ranks, but still nofollow links can be useful for link or crawl queue. They can use these type of links for crawling purposes at the same time. So still having these nofollow links can be beneficial in terms of crawling, but not for the page rank flow. And here we have the follow links. If you click here, the SEMrush will give you everything that actually you should see here. But if you want to be more quick, you can check your anchor text directly. So this is a little bit shady. As I know, this website doesn't have this type of queries. And uh, this might be a spam alert because of that. You should actually check that. And the other thing here is we have some other links like the click here, etc. And here you have a quick analysis of the backlink. So money, if, if this SEMrush says that is a money, 
link it means that it, it has a valuable anchor text for you so keeping these things a little bit lo low it's better and i can tell you that this website is starting their journey new in other words if you use the money backlinks from the beginning it's not good try to use a little bit branded a little bit organic then you can start with compound you can unite these things and then you can start a little bit talking about the money keywords in this context and naked links also they create a little bit natural effect as well and these are the second su section of the uh, referral uh, external reference character here we have all of the categories and since performia is about it's actually about a kind of project management and project efficiency and uh, also the sale management and other things so in this context using actually this structure will be useful because Basically, this performio targets all of these industries, and from all of these industries, if you are able to take a couple of links, it will be beneficial. And I, am, I see that actually I over the five minutes, so I will try to be even quicker. So these backlink sections are really, really important, but the other good thing that you should already know here is actually this on-page SEO checker, because SEMrush has a great tool for on-page SEO checkers, and if you come to the overview section, they will show you all of the on-page strategy ideas and backlink ideas in terms of placing the link in a specific section of your content. And if you check an individual content here, you will be able to see all of the possible opportunities for your content piece and all in terms of readability and information retrieval, this section, and also for the semantics. It's really, really valuable and most of the tools, they don't have this because SMRush makes an a semantic analysis for your content and they actually help you to put all of the related entities together and their attributes or th they also help you to put uh, semantically close or semantically relevant words together by creating a better contextual sharpness for your website so for instance for this web page you actually you, are, you can actually put these uh, keywords or queries or phrases or entities or their attributes by connecting them to each other and giving information. So the other thing here is the top 10 benchmarks. For instance, for this query, SEMrush says that some of these web pages, uh, yes, they don't uh, have any kind of markup, but actually you can use these markups as well. And it says that you don't have it as well. And some of them have uh, ordered list, you also have it. And this is the average uh, word comparison. And of course, it's not a ranking factor, but it can signal the detailed amount of a web page. And here we have the referring domain comparison, the video usage, and the readability scores according to the SEMrush. And speaking of the readability, I also suggest you to use the SEMrush, uh, the content writing assistant. And it's actually free to try, and you can use it from Google Docs. Sometimes I use it, to be honest. And from, especially for the uh, originality test and SEO test, it's really, really useful. And for semantics, again, you can use it. Most of the time, I suggest people using uh, their own brain for semantics, but you can also try this one as well. So one of the other things here is, of course, this uh, quick crawl section. And here, when you crawl this website, you'll see that actually there are lots of issues with this website. And these are the internal links, the broken internal links. It is a signal for web decay. Web decay. And here you see the errors and also at the subsection you see that there are lots of temporary internal redirects here they might be also external as well but uh, as you see i have checked it uh, from the home page and it was like that and here again the permanent redirect internal links they are nearly 10,000, and it means that the crawl path is not clear and also it can affect the page rank flow then the sullivan said that 301 flows all of the page rank to another web page but still this is Google. Sometimes they don't tell uh, even if they change something after their official statement. So it is uh, beneficial to be a little bit cautious when they say something. So after that, you can check all of the crawl pages. But I also like this statistics section. We have lo lots of information here as well. And especially for for the canonicalization, it is important here, here too. Because it means that some of these sections, some of uh, the side sections, they are not so... <laughs> so uh, important for the website owner or even if they are important google might not care about them since they are not canonical canonicalized or google will try to choose according to that and one of the other thing here is that you can actually create a kind of roadmap just from this uh, compare crawl section because they have everything and this section also is useful for 
creating some uh, recurring, recurring uh, crawls and comparing them in terms of different errors and different sections here. So as I said to you before, this is just a quick examination under five minutes or 10 minutes, <laughs> sorry. So uh, in 10 minutes, while trying to focus on these type of things, it's not so easy to uh, explain everything. So I try to be quick. And I can tell you that even if you look these sections, these numeric values and these segments and these chunks of analysis, I believe that you will be able to understand all of the opportunities that, we, that this website actually has. So thank you for listening to me. I hope it helps you.